What's up guys, Chief Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got a brand new squad builder for you today and it includes a really, really nice, very cheap silver team of the season striker, guys. So before you get any further, if you can smash 1,000 fire likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're to my channel, click that subscribe button for more and in the description below will be yesterday's video. And I'm fully aware that some people have mentioned this green screen behind me. It's not very good at the moment. I've actually got something planned for the like next week or so and it'll be a much better backdrop than I've currently got and hopefully upgrading the camera as well, guys. So let's get into the team and the formation we're going with today is the 4-3-2-1. So let's start off then with the goalkeeper and the defence as we always do. So in goal, we've got a team this season. It's going to be Ludovic Batel. I think that's how you say his name. He currently plays for Club Bruges in the Pro League, so he's not that fantastic for links unless you put him in a team like I have done. But he's 6-2 and a very good goalkeeper. I've got some awesome clips to show you of the saves he's made. He'll set you back just 10,750 coins as that is currently his minimum price if I'm correct. I think it's 10.5k start and 10.75k buy it now. So a very, very cheap team this season player and potentially you could go down slightly if the price ranges do get adjusted. At right back, we've got a very pace Italian, and that is going to be Abate of AC Milan. He has 92 pace, 76 dribbling, 75 defending, and 80 physical as his key stats. You can alternatively, I think there's one more player you can have, but I'm going with Abate because he's just very, very quick and he's a very good right back. Then go to our centre back roles, and you may think Ross, you always use this guy, but I never use this guy next to him. That is going to his hyperlink in Adil Rami. Before, I was like, I was kind of put, a bit put off by the pace, but I've noticed 69 pace is not slow at all. He's six with three medium high work rates at like I said 69 pace 84 defending and 84 physical he's now actually discarded as well when I checked before uh, he was 14k when I bought him but now uh, currently I think like I said about, about 12,000 coins to 10,000 coins so it's very very cheap and very affordable the next to him we've got his high point the guy I always use as you can tell 76 games played with him and uh, this guy is unreal I mean Timothy Klodziak if you ever gets a special card that will prove him like a, a day one purchase and finally to finish his defense we've got the left back which is going to be Jetro Williams he does have an informed card but I didn't really see the point about grading it too much because that card will probably drop as uh, the special packs and stuff keep coming out and players just uh, just become cheaper in general so he has five foot seven high medium work rates four star skill moves and four star weak foot on top of that he's just a very very solid fullback I did score an absolute worldie of him as well um, which I will show you at the very end so now we've gone to the midfield and th this midfield trio has everything it's got defensive work it's got two absolute monsters in the right center mid and center mid we can start off the left center mid though which is Tony Vilhena I think I used in uh, maybe yesterday's video the day before and um, this guy gets around the pitch very, very well. He's got some decent stats for a silver. Nothing outstanding, but he just gets the job done. And next to him, then, we've got a legend by the name of Stefan Effenberg. I've never used this guy on FIFA 16. On FIFA 14, though, I had a, a team which involved him. I think it was Bierhoff, Palo Futra, and Ibra, or something like that. And it worked an absolute treat on that game. But this Effenberg, medium high work rate, 6 at 2. Every single stat above 74. He's an absolute monster in that centre mid role. He cost me 241,000 coins. Only got the one goal in five games and no assists. But that really was was not his job to do there. I mean, he was basically there for the defensive work and also keeping the ball moving, which done a very, very good job at doing. Right said maybe we've got a player that's, uh, I think it was transferred a few months ago. That is KP Burting returning to AC Milan. He's six foot one, got four star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's the more attacking player out of the three in that midfield. Um, but again, only got the one assist in the five games. So didn't really do too fantastic in terms of stats, but in game he did do very well for me um, aside from the stats. But now I'm going to show you the two wingers and the very first one is going to be a gold upgrade card, which is Jean-Paul Bottier of uh, FC Basel currently playing in the uh, that obviously that I think is a Rafeson I can't say the league name but it is the Swiss league and he's discard right now hasn't actually got that many goals or assists in 17 games though but a few of them were at left midfield so I'll let him off a bit but he's very quick in game 86 pace 80 drilling 72 shot 72 passing very low physical but he's rapid as is the right foot who is this guy um, I've forgotten what his name is his name is Ebenza as if you are I think I say he says his name five star weak foot three star skill moves he'll cost you 19,000 coins uh, but honestly that that's an absolute bargain for what he is in game. He played five games and look at that return. One goal and five assists. He's five for nine, high medium work rates, 88 pace, 70 shots, 70 passing, 72 physical and 72 drilling. He's very, very quick at running. Of course, that 88 pace shows that, but he's very strong at doing so as well. That 72 physical. So now we're going to the player. It's very, very hard to link up in squads. He's probably not featured much on YouTube due to this, but the player is going to be this man. Uh, where is he? There he is, a team this season. And that is going to be the Israeli uh, Munas Dabur. Four star week for three three star skill moves, 86 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shot, 75 dribbling, 70 physical, and it's just 15,000 coins. That price is just the fact that he's a very, very hard player to link up in squads, because I don't think Grasshoppers, is that a place for, yeah, Grasshopper, I don't think they have many good players, and you have to essentially use orange links like I have done in this squad. But his return, five games, 
10 goals. And like I mentioned, for just 15,000 coins, that's an absolute bargain. And at first, I, I'll admit, the very first game I thought it was shite, but I have actually applied some instructions to him, which may show, they may not, uh, but I'll show you right now. So play instructions for him. Um, yeah, they, they have kept the same. So I kind of say it to stay uh, central because he kept drifting out wide. So yeah, stay central, get in behind the defense because that was the thing I really wanted him to do. He's got the pace to get behind them and uh, you'll see in the clips, he definitely did so after that very first game. So this team was really fun to use and let's get into the goals are scored. So now we've got the clips in for this team and it does include a fair few saves from the goalkeeper as well. So we can start off like I said, the very first game, I really did struggle. I think I was 3-0 down at one point. We got a very jammy goal back there, but I think it ended like 4-1. Uh, I was really, really annoyed with FIFA at this point, but I was like, you know what? It could be the first game of the day, like kind of thing. But I then set, like settled myself in, and uh, we score a really nice goal with Dabor in the uh, the second game. And this was, I think, as soon as I put on the uh, the stay down the middle and get in behind the defence. And this right here, look at that run. As you can see, he really wants to get in behind the defence, and he has the pace to do so, and also has the strength to shield him off. And his finishing, when he gets inside the box, whether he's uh, obviously straight out wide or not, his finishing inside the box is absolutely clinical. I think he's got like is it 80 odd finishing, 82 possibly, and you can definitely tell that in game. A situation like this can uh, obviously tell you how. Like near post, he scored a couple of them, I think, um, across the goal, oh, not across the goalkeeper, sorry. Uh, near post against the goalkeeper, and they just flew into the corner. And here's another instance of him getting in behind that defense, and he done so very, very well. The rest of the players, though, um, I think is as if you are, I can't say his name properly, but the right forward, five star weak foot, very pacey, very powerful, and just what you want in a winger. And again, very cheap, although I think he's at one point, uh, two days ago, he was in fact price capped uh, or price fixed, I think, at around like 50 thousand coins so I refused to buy him for that and the next day uh, people started undercutting him and he went back down to his normal price because I think he's quite uh, recent in four possibly like last like month or so and there is the first really big save from the goalkeeper as uh, he kind of done all the, like, every single game and here is him stepping up big in the penalty shootout first very good save against Wayne Rooney and the second one's coming up now to win the penalty shootout against Deli Ali. and uh, I do a really weird celebration the old Robbie Keane uh, like barrel roll thingy and the, the gun so I'm not sure why I've done that but here's another really big save. Like, he's fantastic. That one, he pretty sure scored that rebound. But Patel, he's still strong and done very well. And here, here's the like instance where De Boer, like he gives the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever there. Very powerful. Uh, in fact, in this game, I scored some really, really nice goals with him in particular. Uh, then we've got Effenberg. He bossed the midfield. He can do absolutely everything. He's so damn strong. Um, and you would have seen the free kick I did, in fact, score with him before. And there's that ball being clinical yet again. Um, the Klodzak uh, and Rami Link, that done very, very well for me as well. Apart from that first game, I think we conceded like possibly one or two goals in the other four or five games we did play. And there is an absolute screwing from De Boer, and that is followed up by a couple more really nice goals as well. So the rest of the team, it just played very well, was fun to use. And after that first game, I kind of regretted raging so hard because some games don't go your way and that's just how FIFA works, guys. So uh, here's a really nice, this is probably my favorite of the lot, actually. Uh, look at this for technique. The finesse shot from that distance right into the corner. You'll see in the replay, this is dead into the bottom corner and uh, I really love this goal in particular. I think I've got one more goal, which is the Jetro Williams one, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. 1,000 Farage likes would be absolutely awesome. If you to my channel, click subscribe button for more. And hey, guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.